We've been told that our peaceful pleas were not made at the right time, at the right place, in the right way. By now, you've no doubt seen the video. It went viral and was shown on video boards in ballparks on opening day. Dozens of black players joined their voices. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Matter. And formed the Players Alliance. This is how it happened. It's late May, early June, and the world is, is in disarray. Cameron Mabin was at home in North Carolina with his family. After George Floyd was killed, he posted this. When I think about my 12-year-old, you know, uh, asking me why, uh, why. He went on for three minutes, a father collecting his thoughts. Being at home during that time, um, with no uniform on my back, you know, it made me realize that I am just another black man. Mabin called former teammate D. Gordon, who called his former teammate Edwin Jackson. Before long, Curtis Granderson and C.C. Sabathia were on board, and so were more than a hundred others. Eight minutes and 46 seconds is enough time to lift a knee. The video was just the first step. The Players Alliance will pool the resources and voices of all the players like Mabin, who are already making a difference off the field and work together to create real change in baseball and in life. One team, one dream, starting now. And I'm very proud to be a part of an alliance that is, is not afraid to have these conversations uh, for the greater good of our game. One team, one dream, be the change.